Hey guys, Rose here. So, uh, my daughter has been wanting me to check out the Periscope app because she wants to do her first, uh, her first ever broadcast. So, um, I told her how to check it out before she even went on it because, you know, I'm a good mom. I know what my, my daughter is doing at all times. So anyways, um, this is a new app that she's been using a lot. It's called Periscope. Okay, so this is Periscope. Let me just open it up for you guys. And this is what I discovered that I do not like. So, on Periscope, you can connect with, like, a whole bunch of people from all over the world. And it's real time. Um, people can do live broadcasting. And you can leave comments. I mean, the thought of it is very interesting. It's really, really smart. I can see Periscope probably um, doing way better than Facebook as long as they keep upgrading, you know, all of their different features. So, um, yeah, basically you can connect with people all over the world. Uh, this is my daughter's Periscope that she's been doing. She has not done any broadcasting yet because I had to look at it first. Uh, what I don't like about it is this. This is a little globe over here. Now, with this globe, you can basically... Let me just make it bigger. So right now, all these red dots, it represents everybody around the world that is on Periscope right now and doing some kind of live broadcast, some live streaming. Here's one in Hawaii. Um, let's go to Australia. So let me just show you guys. So this, there's two people right now. Well, four, six people. Six people right now uh, live streaming in Australia. And I know people get so excited, but this is how crazy you can see where someone I mean your location you got you guys really gotta think about this now your location is all is gonna be all public wherever you're at whatever you're doing is going to be out there for the world to see so in this case this person who lives in Australia on 4th Avenue Okay, so if you make a if you make a right at Carrington Street and Fourth Avenue, it's probably gonna be the second house right over here. She looks like they're in their back. You can see. Oh, they're done. Okay, they were done streaming, so they might never go to another person. Okay, so this person right here, who lives on Broadway and Drayton Street. Oh, Chesterton Street. So they live on Chesterton Road. One house, two house, three house. So they live on this house right here. You just click on this on this thing. So lack. Look at this young boy. A young boy on Periscope. Probably in his parents' back in his room. In the me, all his information is on Periscope. See how dangerous that is. I mean, anybody can find you, and that's what worries me. So, um, before you guys do any live broadcasting, this is how you have to do it. Make sure you enable your location. You're gonna go to settings. Okay, so on my iPad, location, see the location? Make sure the location says never. Never, ever, ever. Okay, because you don't want, you don't know who's out there. Okay, guys, you have to play it safe. You really, really have to play it safe. I know everybody doesn't think about that kind of stuff, but you have to play it safe. Um, and this is the reason why my daughter can't do, or couldn't do her Periscope stream because I wasn't feeling good. And um, I didn't know what Periscope was. So now that I had a chance to kind of, oops, now that I had my chance to kind of look at it, um, maybe later to Thursday or something, she can do her Periscope thing. But don't forget, okay, guys, when you guys do your broadcasting, please remember to turn your settings off, turn your location off. So you don't have all these weirdos coming to your house. I mean, look at look how close that is. I mean, you can literally. I have his exact address. Okay, his exact address. Chesterton Road, 
and this is what makes it dangerous okay guys so um for your periscope make sure to turn your settings off all right periscope settings off take care guys mom boss be safe